Hey guys, and welcome to this week's episode of Upfront Gaming News. So, without further ado, we're just going to dive in here because uh, there's quite a bit of good information uh, as well as a few good trailers this week. However, before we get into it, uh, I will tell you that we had kind of the same uh, biggest release this week, of course, uh, between PS4 and Xbox. Xbox only had one release this week um, so therefore we're going to switch up the trailer that we show in which part of it of the news there that we show that trailer um, so stay tuned for that so anyway uh, let's just jump into it here with uh, Anthem for PS4 is the biggest release this week so uh, check it out you are the chosen few Protectors of our world. This is your time. Out there, you will fight the unimaginable. Feel the power of your javelin, its precision. Rely on each other. Unleash your power. Never give up. Ready, Captain One? Let's go! You are freelancers. And that was Anthem, and again, biggest release this week for PlayStation and Xbox. Um, Xbox having this as its only release this week. Uh, so again, we'll jump into a different trailer uh, as part of Xbox news, and uh, you'll know what that is here just in just a few. Um, however, Anthem, uh, it was something that I originally had uh I pre-ordered was was excited for um, and slowly changed my mind just based on kind of some of the stuff that I had seen on Anthem itself um, but now I'm not so sure I mean they've they had some issues with their with their um, beta slash VIP um, release I guess you'd say like early um, and it was more of a server thing. Uh, I think they got it right. However, I'm not so sure that I'm fully convinced, um, this is going to be something I'm going to want to get into, but I do like, uh, the way it looks, the way it seems to play based on the trailers that I've seen. So, um, we'll just have to see. Um, but let's jump into the rest of the news for PlayStation this week. So uh, Ubisoft lays off or lays out ambitious plans for their financial year. Um, that happened this week. Um, they're intending to launch three or four AAA titles. Uh, it's unlikely that Assassin's Creed will be one of them, being that uh, they're on a different cycle now since Unity kind of uh, bit it quite a bit before they started moving over to the RPG-based uh, gameplay. So I don't think an Assassin's Creed is going to be one of them. I would say we're probably looking at a 2020 release uh, with that. Um, it's unlikely um, just because of the fact that, again, they're trying to uh, extend, expand the genre or expand the, the franchise, not genre, um, and make it something that people still want to play. And the every year thing uh, is not going to work well with their current uh, mechanic without it feeling rushed, if that makes sense. Um, a new Splinter Cell is a good possibility, uh, and there's been talk of Watch Dogs 3 being in development, so those are um, possibilities. Uh, the most realistic is Skull and Bones. Um, we see quite a few trailers for it, 
and it, I think we could see that before the end of their financial year. Um, as for fourth, uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2 is a possibility, but uh, they could have a number of unannounced IPs. It, it's, it would be soft. I mean, they might have something up their sleeve that's brand new, uh, which would be great for, for Ubisoft. I know that they're one of the companies that I definitely play a lot of their games. Um, Far Cry New Dawn just came out. I'm going to be on that tonight. Uh, so yeah, there's definitely some, some good stuff coming out of Ubisoft on a regular basis. Uh, just hoping that they can kind of mix up what they're putting out as far as uh, the layout and, and story that they're trying to tell, which in a lot of cases they do well, but a lot of things coming out right now are a lot more post-apocalyptic. Um, so we'll see. Uh, last thing for PlayStation this week is has to do with the PlayStation Store. They're doing a Lego sale. Um, it's 13 titles, including Marvel, Marvel Super Heroes 2, Lego Worlds, and Jurassic World, up to 66% off. Um, there was no uh, end date on this, so I would jump on that as soon as you can if you're interested in Lego titles. Um, so let's move into Xbox. Again, Xbox's biggest release was Anthem, so we're not going to go ahead and show you another Anthem trailer. Um, that was originally what I was going to do. However, uh, there's another big piece that's kind of cross-platform that came out this week uh, that I think we could replace that trailer with. So we'll get to that in just a second. So um, now on Activision uh, as part of Xbox, and this kind of spans as well, so does the Ubisoft thing. Um, but Activision's laying off 800 people uh, and focusing on its biggest franchises, Call of Duty, Overwatch, etc. Uh, due to uh, kind of a bumpy fiscal year for Activision and Blizzard. So um, I think that's a good idea. However, I think Activision needs to kind of lay off the microtransactions and all the, the uh, extras that they try to throw into all their games nowadays. Uh, I think that, honestly, that's one of the biggest reasons I haven't picked up a Call of Duty title in uh, roughly four or five years now. So, um, I, I kind of want to see where they go with this, but if they can improve um, and give something back to the gamers that, that follow them avidly without including a ton of microtransactions that you have to... Uh, get into in order to advance in certain games. Um, however, moving on. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 developer NetherRealm confirmed Jade with a video this week. This is uh, where we've decided to put the trailer. Um, so check this trailer out. Again, um, Jade is, is being uh, a part of Mortal Kombat 11 via NetherRealm Studios. Um, the video was released this week. It's kind of awesome. Uh, so go ahead and check that out. And when we come back, uh, we'll jump into Nintendo. Thanks, guys. Confident. Cowards will overwhelm you. Now you seem overconfident. Fight!
him. Fatality. Jade wins. <laughs> Okay, again, guys, that was the Jade reveal trailer for Mortal Kombat 11. Um, that's going to be cross-platform, of course. Um, looks great. It's good to see Jade in there. Um, again, we're going to see a lot more character reveals up till the release date in April. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and you know, as they come out, if they're if they're really good, we'll try and feature them um, around your regular videos. Uh, so. There's always that. Let's move into Nintendo. So Nintendo's biggest release this week is V-Rally 4. And love the trailer. Um, when I think about racing games, I don't really think um, high definition Nintendo. However, this looks great. So um, here's the trailer. Check it out. Guys, hope you enjoyed V Rally 4's trailer. Again, that's kind of that's a cross platform as well. Um, however, if the graphics carry over to the Switch, it looks great regardless. Now, um, the news for Nintendo is a bit sparse this week. However, um, we did find a couple things to kind of dig into, so uh, let's get into it. So, um, Switch eShop uh, they do a chart um, every month or every couple months, every year, et cetera. Uh, their yearly chart um, has come out and Wargroove is topping the chart with several great games rounding up the top 30 list. So if you're interested in looking at that, um, go ahead and just search the Switch eShop chart um, to see what's on there. A lot of great games in the top 30. If you're looking for something good that you may not have, uh, go ahead and take a look at that. Um, the last piece of news for Nintendo this week, Bayonetta 2's director, um, Yasuki Hashimoto, has left Platinum Games. He announced this on his Twitter after 13 years of being with the company. Um, he's hoping that he can carry things over to wherever he goes next. Um, however, he did thank all those that he worked with and those that enjoyed his games upon departure from Platinum Games. So... Who knows where Yusuke Hashimoto will end up. Uh, however, he did provide uh, some great titles along the way while working with Platinum Games. So uh, respect to uh, Yusuke Hashimoto and uh, I'm sure we'll see him in another 
company here in the future. Um, so all of that being said, that's it this week, guys. Uh, pretty short week. Um, we got, you know, maybe 15, 17 minutes or so um, in news this week. But again, we had a, a uh, cross-platform uh, top this week with Anthem, uh, Mortal Kombat 11, Jade Trailer, and of course, V-Rally 4. Um, so check all those out. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely uh, went ahead and pre-ordered um, MK11 because it's going to be awesome. Uh, I still play MK10 now. Um, and then I think I also did a pre-order this week for Days Gone. So if you're interested in the post-apocalyptic zombie type game, uh, that one looks really great. Uh, I'm sure we'll have more to more on that title as we get closer to its release date in April as well. So uh, again, guys, leave your comments, questions, etc. in the in the uh, comments below. Subscribe, like, share. And uh, we'll see you next week for week nine of Upfront Gaming News. And until then, y'all stay, stay cool. Hang out with us more as we get closer to our end of month uh, release, which is going to be more than likely this month. I think we're doing a Far Cry New Dawn review. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, other than that, guys, have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. And peace.